Uh, greetings Capricorn and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're doing wonderfully well and let's jump right in and see what it is that the theme of the reading will be. And to my new viewers, welcome. And this reading is for Capricorn, a sun, moon, and rising. And so it is. And let's see what it is we have for us today. Wow, well first, uh, the element of water and the number 41 is very important. You might need to be around water, drink more water, uh, take baths, uh, spend time, maybe move toward uh, water. That, that is going to be very important for you. You could be dreaming a lot about water, about that whole fluid feeling, emotional realm and the number 41. And it's coming with uh, the woman with two faces. This could be symbolic for you in some way. The woman who is giving birth and the woman who is seeing uh, the uh, deep and dark mysteries. Life and death. The woman with two faces. It could be a woman that you're dealing with that is very watery, very emotional, and has two faces, is two-faced, or shows you one side that is very um, innocent and uh, like a new birth in their a personality, but then the other is with the right raven, something very intelligent, uh, something very spiritual. And the swan, um, number 45, so there's uh, like 41, 45, and 17 could be important numbers. You could be seeing these swans that mate for life, uh, that energy of haunting, that um, a swan uh, energy of spiritual union, of union within yourself. And then there's the goddess of the water. Wow. Looking over that water you're traveling through. Looking at that with gentleness, with tenderness, with a nurturing. And so that's what I'm seeing. There's a lot of uh, in image around the water for my Capricorn, for the earth sign you are. So you might want to bring in more water, a more of the feminine function, because you've got the goddess of the water, and you've got the woman with two faces. And so uh, that's what I have. And let's uh, dive right in and see what it is that the cards have for um, Capricorn. And so it is. And this is you, the two of a pentacles has came came out. You see, that's the um, mathematical symbol, the lemonscape, which is the inf infinity sign. So you're um, infinitely having to work, having to change, having to be flexible about this question, be adaptable, uh, be secure, uh, work on it, because it has something to do with the Queen of Cups. Uh, is challenging. She's offering the cup to this a financial uh, up and down flows, giving here, taking here, working, uh, balancing, um, being flexible, adaptable, and being adaptable with uh, your emotions, with your feelings, seeing the, that the feelings rise up and down as well. You might have very deep feelings that you've put a cap on. Uh, you've topped off recently, but now you're having to balance those emotions the watery nature, because you've got the goddess of the water. Um, and what is coming is, um, <clears throat> I saw the hangman. So there's something you're needing to release about this question. And it has to do with the king of swords. You um, could be dealing with a lawyer, a professional, a doctor, but somebody who is, th does things by the book and takes the emotion out. So these two are kind of opposite energies. Uh, and you've got the queen challenging this balance. Something about your emotions are stirred up and you're trying to regain your footing. You're trying to get uh, that root chakra uh, solidified through your intelligence, through your wisdom, through using your life experience and the mental uh, capacity you have to analyze, evaluate, uh, reflect. Uh, see things in a more abstract way. And what's coming in the recent past was the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Well, you worked hard. You've been um, working on this craft, on this skill, on this ability to make money. 
and you've been seeing some truth about it. You've been succeeding. Uh, you've been uh, being very well known in that uh, work you're doing because you're using your intelligence. Maybe not a lot of emotion. And so this queen is coming in and challenging that uh, emotional stability because you've got another um, eight, the eight of wands. Well, this is coming in fast, uh, some energy of moving, uh, some completion, some recognition with what you've been working on because it, the, wow, the Eight of Cups, 888. Eight, eight. This could have something to do with the Eights, with Eight is swift movement forward. Swift movement forward in your career and your money. Swift movement forward with communication, with opportunity, with ideas. And this is um, moving forward. Uh, quickly toward a, your true destiny. Maybe there's some emotions that have dried up, some a feeling that you've had a change of heart. And that's why the water is appearing here. Uh, and the woman with two faces, you've had a change. Uh, and you want to move on towards something that's going to be more fulfilling, that's going to move you toward uh, that wish fulfillment in the Nine of Cups. And so uh, you're seeing this with truth and clarity, accuracy. The heavens, your higher power, your mind is bringing you this sword that the king is holding. And you're gonna wield that truth, that accuracy, that success, that victory over mind over matter, so to speak, because uh, your environment is one of a lot of conflict, a lot of competition, um, a lot of a feeling that People are uh, fighting verbally. There's a lot of energetic um, mishaps, uh, things, setbacks, uh, confusion that when you're looking at people in your environment or a particular person, you see a lot of conflict, a lot of um, difficulties mentally and energetically and on using these passionate ideas and how to move forward with them because what is coming is the queen of swords well, there's a lot of air now, and you've got air and water because you are got the king and the queen. And when you see the king and the queen and the ace of swords between them, uh, Capricorn, you've got to use your intelligence because truth is coming. A truth will be uh, seen. Uh, yes, and victory will come through truth about whatever this uh, situation is. And the Queen of Swords, um, your hope and fear is you will get uh, a perspective, that you will see things uh, like we saw with the hangman at the bottom of the deck. You'll see things from a totally new perspective and use your intelligence and get above the clouds, get out of that feeling of that uh, chaos, that confusion, that conflict, and get clarity. And you're getting it quickly with energy to see things truthfully for the first time. That's what this is. I ho you hope and you fear you're going to see something clearly uh, for the first time, and it's going to lead to uh, this a uh, page of wands, this energy, uh, this movement toward a new uh, passion, a new idea, a project that you want to energetically uh, take your um, uh, energy toward and see the truth about, and you're going to move toward this. It's, could be an, um, a fire sign. There's a lot of wands and a lot of swords. And then you've got this eight of cups, a kind of change of heart, moving on, following your true destiny, getting the truth about some, something that you've been fighting with in your environment. And this queen is seeing, you're seeing something, your hope and fears, you'll see it for the first time and then take action. Move forward with these eight of a wands and then the page of wands. You uh, have a new idea. You want to take it out, travel, uh, explore, see things in a different way. And uh, you are moving maybe over water, traveling, um, connecting to this woman with the two faces. And that could be this queen of cups. But the queen of swords sees things truthfully, accurately. She takes a lot of the emotion out of it that the queen of cups would need to have. And that could be challenging this flexibility, this balance. So let's get some clarity and see why these 
uh, different cards are here for Capricorn. So I hope that you're resonating with this. This is a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and your North Node. Uh, but let's see uh, what happened. I just saw these two cards come flying out. Uh, the Ace of Swords again. Well, clarity is coming. A truth and clarity has been handed to you. Because that's how you're seeing this balance. You're seeing this balance with clarity. You're seeing having to balance your money, your time, your effort, your resources. And you're seeing that clearly now. And you're getting um, this <clears throat> Queen of Cups is um, being um, addressed, being clarified by the uh, Nine of a pentacles, I mean, the, where you are culminating a lot of your work from the eight of pentacles to the nine. Capricorn, you've been recognized for your skills. You've worked hard at this. You've been a diligent, disciplined, devoted almost. And it's culminating with clarity, whatever, something about your independence, your wealth, your luxuries that you have now, the fruit of your labor. You're seeing it clearly. Uh, whatever it is economically, financially, uh, with your investments, uh, with whatever it is you worked on, you're seeing it clearly now. And the King of Swords is here twice. The King of Swords clarifies the King of Swords, Capricorn. That is very strong. It's emphasizing uh, this is an air sign, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But it's an energy of the mind. You're taking that emotion out at the foundation to look clearly. You have to get the emotion out. Because this, um, there's a, a culmination of whatever this a queen of, of cups, this uh, nurturing, uh, this um, tending, this listening, this supporting, this loving, this intuition about uh, this abundance is coming. And you've worked hard for this, and there's this death, there's an ending coming about something with what you've worked on. It's coming to an end. Maybe you're leaving your career behind, you're retiring with a lot of abundance and recognition, and you're going towards something quickly because this is ending. This process of uh, maybe being in the apprenticeship position, but you're moving on because something is culminating with your work. Um, and it's culminating because uh, there's something emotionally or that you're feeling about it. Uh, and it's ending this apprenticeship phase because you're, got, uh, you're planning something new. Uh, you're going toward it quickly. You're getting a lot of communication and the green light to take that energy out there and to move on. Something You had a change of heart. Maybe you want to move on because of this ending in a relationship or something you saw truthfully with your intelligence and it's ending, something about your work, um, something about your craft, something about what you were devoted to. And you're planning something new and you're moving um, toward a new union. Maybe this, uh, you've had a, a change of heart with the people you're around and you wanna move towards something that's more uh, connecting to a new kind of partnership that's more uh, of a true love, where there's really these uh, two golden cups that you're sharing. And it could be that you're moving also on to an inner union with yourself, joining different, the masculine and feminine aspects of your own uh, personality. And you've got this Ace of Swords twice. So there's a lot of a clarity coming about uh, and you're waking up to this swan, something, and it's interesting, you've got this judgment, and here you've got the swan. And in this uh, card, there are the two swans. And here there's a judgment because there's only one. So there's something about an ending in a relationship that was supposed to uh, last maybe forever, which was supposed to be this a divine union. And it came to an end or you had to walk away from it and you're getting clarity and you're waking up you're hearing this wake up call and you're getting the truth on something about uh, 
this ending, this waking up to some aspect of your behavior, of your truth about this love, this union, um, that you're getting clarity on, that ended maybe in the past, after you felt like you worked hard on this. Something is coming to an end and you're planning something new and it's coming in a quick and this, whatever you're leaving behind is going to, you're leaving it behind because it had something to do with a union that you're getting clarity on and waking up to. And this quarreling and fighting is um, in your environment and you're gonna bring some uh, deep emotional intelligence to uh, deal with the competition, to deal with whatever this quarreling, this fighting, this verbal arguments. You're gonna have deep emotional control and you have definitely um, intellectual and mental control. And the Queen of Swords is here because you want to get clear finally on this situation. You've got the control now over this competition. Now what is it that you're seeing? Where you're move, whatever you're seeing is saying, I've got to move on from this. I've got to change residence. I need to take my, um, the black and the white, that, uh, those polarities within myself, and to join those forces and to uh, go for something quickly, uh, take command triumphantly, move on. And the eight of <clears throat> uh, wands is the equivalent in the minor arcana to the chariot. So you've got a double emphasis on a quick movement forward because you saw something. And what you saw clearly, once you saw that, a truth and you got clarity, and you got double clarity on this, you had to wake up to some truth, some spiritual reality, uh, something about a union, a partnership, and you're moving uh, quickly <clears throat> um, toward, uh, with that truth, you're going toward a new idea, you're exploring, uh, you're taking that energy forward, and you're making a decision. You're coming to, you're taking these two aces, you see these two aces that, uh, she's holding you're taking these two aces that she's holding and you're making a decision you're coming to some truth some clarity and that is what is coming right now and you're exploring that you're getting a lot of new young ideas about this uh, intuition about where uh, how to make this decision and that is what I have for my a Capricorn, a very comprehensive and uh, reading with a lot of um, these king of swords at the foundation. A lot of truth is coming out about something that you're waking up to. And it has to do with truth about whatever this money, you've been flexible, you've been balancing, this a change, you've been juggling, but you're getting a wake-up call about it. And you're making a new plan to move forward. And you're uh, closing out an old cycle. And you're making this, uh, these aces, these two aces, you're making a decision with clarity. And uh, that's what I have for my uh, beautiful Capricorns today. And if it resonates, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And you know I love you, Capricorn. And we're in this interconnected field. Uh, the field is the sacred space of bringing intention and awareness uh, to what is happening here. And so it is. And I hope you resonate and take this out into your day and into uh, your um, question. And so it is. Bye-bye.